Hello folks. So if you notice something different, I've got a new microphone on my shirt here. I was hoping it would help block some of the external noise around here, but it really didn't. So, oh well, I tried. But um, anyway, last night it was clear all night. I ran both my rigs again and I set a new personal best. I captured 15.7 hours of data. And I'm capturing two different objects with these scopes. And it's going to be a race as to which one finishes their object first. But I think it's going to be this one because um, it's the North America Nebula and it doesn't really need a lot of exposure time. I'm thinking maybe 12 to 13 hours tops. And even that is a lot for that nebula because it's so bright. Uh, my other rig here, the Explorer Scientific setup, I'm working on a, maybe close to a 30 hour project and I'm nervous about it. I don't know if it's going to come out. It's a tough one. It, it's not right at all. Um, but anyway, um, we had a lot of company over today and I did some yard work and so I, since I was home all day, I didn't even bother to roll my stuff back into the garage. So I left them out all day long and now I get to skip polar alignment. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit the ground running tonight and go straight into imaging. So that, that's going to be nice because let me tell you, even though it's an easy thing to just roll stuff out and do polar alignment, it's still kind of a, a little more work than I thought and it's a little more work than I thought closing down. Everything is double now and it's kind of a pain. And like I said, I'm only going to be doing two rigs when I think it's going to be clear all night. I don't, I don't want to deal with this on, on nights where I'm only going to have three or four hours. So anyway, uh, I think I'm going to be ready to start imaging in about maybe an hour or so. The sun will be setting pretty soon. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see what I come up with for the North American Nebula. All right. That's all I got for now. I hope this, I hope this thing worked. Okay, so I am almost done capturing HA for the North American Nebula. The moon is full tonight, so I don't mind capturing narrowband on a night like this. And let's take a look at one frame. This thing is bright, and uh, that's why I like this one so much. Um, check that out. That's just a single four-minute exposure. And like... Um, uh, all the time, everything I do for HA and Celper anyway, I'm always using Unity Game 139 and 21. And um, Astro Dude asked me if I'd start showing my histogram when I when I capture. Oops! Oh well, since I'm here, every time I close something, um, it 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 shuts it. it shrinks Sequence Generator Pro, but this is the way my guiding is looking while we're here. 0.57 for the EQ6R mount. I'm liking that. I can live with this guiding. Looks pretty good. So, anyway, that, that's how guiding looks. But let's go back. And like I said, Astro Dude was asking me if I could start showing me, or start showing everyone the, the histogram, which I, I never pay much attention to. Um, I use the histogram when I'm, I'm doing solar and when I'm creating flats. I like to get the, the histogram about a quarter way up the graph for, for my flats, but I never pay much attention to it when I'm, I'm doing deep sky. Let's see, image histograms. So that's what the histogram, can I blow this up? No? Okay, that's what the histogram looks like anyway. See, I, I don't have any experience in looking at this while I'm imaging, so I don't know where it should be or or anything else. What's this auto stretch do? Yeah, well, I just played with my current sub. So anyway, that that's what the, the histogram looks like, everyone. And let me know if, if the histogram doesn't look right to you. or But it, even if it doesn't look right, I'm not going to really change what I do. I I do four-minute exposures at Unity Gain for HA, and I'll probably always end up doing that. But I'm going to see if I can just dock it here so I can just use it in the future. Oh, I don't want to put it so low. Let's... All right, so now I can switch between the filter and that. All right, so now my histogram will always be there so people can check it out. Um, that's all I got, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and I, 
I hope this comes out. We'll see. Um, this is just the first night of me capturing um, data for this this target, so um, I will probably have to spend a couple more nights on it before I'm done. Okay, see you later. Hello folks, so if you notice something different, I've got a new microphone on my, on my shirt here. Um, but anyway, uh, anyway, What is this shit?